An update on a fantastic whale finding in Brewster, next! Cape Cast. So Misty, a thrilling discovery last year in Brewster on a bayside beach. I think it turned out to be a whale skull. Now we know some more. What do you know about it? <laughs> yeah, so last year um, Ocean Edge Resort uh, called us with a discovery they found on the beach of um, what they thought was a marine mammal um, bone or skeleton of some sort, and they were right. And from working with our colleagues at the Smithsonian and other researchers, we determined that it was a right whale skull, or part of the right whale skull, the, basically the back of the skull. And we also worked with folks at um, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and they, the No Sams group, and they were able to actually able to date the, um, the skull. And we, it turns out it's from somewhere between 1630 and 1700s. So it's much older than we initially expected it to be. We were going to be excited if it was pre 1970s. Is this an exciting discovery? Is it unprecedented? Where does it sort of fit into your experience here on the Cape? Well, absolutely, it's exciting. I mean, it's um, part of kind of Cape Cod's history and the natural history here of the species that are in the area, so it's very exciting. Um, in the time that I've been here, at least in the last few years, we've never had located a specimen that was this old before, so it's very exciting to us. Now, sort of in the CSI uh, whale skull department, is there anything we know about, like, how the whale may have ended up there, whether it was indeed something that maybe, I don't know, Native Americans, or early fishermen had, had gotten. Is there any like mark on the whale? <laughs> Do we know what happened to that whale? No, not really, because we have one very small part of the animal. We have one part of the skull um, that landed up on the beach. Most likely what probably happened was that um, the animal stranded somewhere in that area or washed in after it died, and um, most likely the, the whole animal started to decompose and fall apart, and that's kind of where it landed. And over time, the sand dunes have moved up and down the beach, and it ended up getting buried in that location. What do you know about where it's going, where it's going to end up? Yeah, well, because it is a very old specimen, it's also a an endangered species, uh, the North Atlantic right whale, and also um, because it's a pretty fragile um, specimen, uh, the Smithsonian is really interested in having that as part of their collection, and they are the best suited to sort of um, take care of it and make sure to stabilize it, make sure it doesn't fall apart. Cape Cass. Now let's say folks are out in the Cape Cod Beach and they might come across something similar to this, something that's maybe big, bony, they don't know what it is. What should they do as far as reporting it? Who should they get in touch with? Um, they should definitely give us a call um, on our hotline as well, just like you would for any of our strandings, 508-743-9548. Um,